Hey everyone, Chris from Computer Stuff here. I wanted to release a quick video on how to update your Dell drivers. Now, uh, Dell, and for that matter, pretty much every manufacturer, when they sell a computer, they sell these computers with outdated system images on them, meaning that you don't get the latest drivers and BIOS and updates and all that stuff uh, out of the box. So it's very important when you get a new computer that you want to not only go to Windows Update and do all those updates, but you also want to go to the manufacturer's update in uh, site website and get all those updates as well. So this is an, a little tutorial video on how to do that from, uh, from Dell's website on a Dell computer, but of course this kind of applies to HP's, Lenovo's, Acer's, you get the idea. Anyway, let's dive right in. It goes without saying that, you're not, that you need to be connected to the Wi-Fi in order to do this, but uh, once you're on the internet with your new computer and logged in and everything, go to your internet browser, in this case we're on Edge, we then want to go to dell.com, come to the support tab, support home. And if you're on a Dell, you can, a new out of the box, it'll already come with the software necessary to like discover the computer automatically. But that said, you can also, if you want, uh, it'll, it'll sort of prompt you to download that. Or you could also put in your service tag number underneath the little search icon here too, but just for sake of making this easy, we'll click on this one here. And then we're gonna go to drivers and downloads. And they make it pretty easy. So let Dell automatically find the updates for you. Go ahead and just go ahead and just hit that, check updates, it'll take a few minutes. All right, and then once it's finished doing all that, <clears throat> you wanna come down to uh, show drivers. You can also just hit like download and install, but show drivers. This will sort of show everything that it needs. The most important one that you need in order to kind of make sure that the uh, system fan and everything is running kind of optimized is the BIOS one. And Dell's almost always ship with outdated BIOS. Again, most, most computers do. It's pretty common. Uh, but you really want to get all of these if you can. Things like video uh, graphics card drivers, chipset drivers, those are all very, very important to making sure the computer is running in tip-top shape. Anyway, hit download and install. And basically from here, it's gonna do its thing. It'll take probably about 10, 15 minutes to kind of download and install, and then it will have you restart the computer afterwards. Now, once you restart the computer, you should probably go, probably go back to Dell's website and kind of run through this entire process all over again just to make sure it's got everything. But that paired with getting the Windows 11 or 10 updates should make sure that your computer is running about as good as it possibly can. So it finished installing everything. It's saying, oh, do you want to restart? So yes, we'll go ahead and hit, and actually Windows Update prompted for a restart as well, uh, but we'll go ahead and hit restart. Here, let it do its thing now. Once it's going through the restart phase, let's, uh, I'll kind of skip past this here in the video. Now, because we did a BIOS update, once it gets to the Dell logo here, it's gonna go through the, the BIOS update process. You're gonna see something that looks like this, updating your firmware, do not power down your system. Very, very important, do not power down your system. It's, it will, it'll kill the computer. So let it finish this, and once it's done doing this thing, it will bump back into Windows 10 or 11, and then you should be red as rain. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions regarding updating your drivers or BIOS, please reach out to us in the comments section. Otherwise, please like and subscribe, and we'll be back with another video soon.